hi my viewers welcome to this channel and to this video today is a bit chilly and that's why i'm all covered up please bear with me let me enjoy this uh, warmth and also the comfort of my freeze if you're finding us for the first time we learn something each time until we come to that point where we become the best versions of ourselves and today i want to have an interaction with parents i being a parent a disclaimer this video i'm not doing it from a point of a specialist or an advisor no this is just my observation having interacted with parents i want us to discuss how we can strike a balance between parenting our youth and a lot of fallout we don't seem to strike a balance or understand each other and let us try to see what is the problem after raising your kids from the first time you get this baby you're so overjoyed you take care of your kids you try to uh, raise them in the best way possible and uh, it's very easy for us when they, our kids are small you just say something and they do but now as they grow yes we are doing our molding we are doing everything but they also have their own mind they have their own opinion and now when they grow up and they want to share their opinion they want to give their idea it doesn't come up so well to us as parents we want to remain in control we want to remain in command and that is where the the struggle comes in you need to work as a team they listen to you you listen to, to them and you strike a balance let our kids get involved in decision making for example if we have duties like we want to share duties in the house why don't we just call a meeting a small meeting share the duties we have this and this and this to do uh, so how can we help each other who want to do this that decision have come from themselves like i want to help in this then it will be so much easier to do it rather than giving commands you do this you do this and you're gone you come back in the evening nothing has been done then you're so much offended you start screaming and it's not good the other thing is being a good example you cannot tell your kid like we don't use phones in the dining room but you as a parent because you are the mother or you are the dad you want to to feel uh, exceptional like you can use your phone no 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 it you know that way they are not going to respect you and in future they're gonna rebel like even our mom do this you tell us not to do this but you're doing this no set an example set the pace like we do this and another very important thing is how you raise your kid it's good to get your kids involved in things like chores helping in the house uh, doing activities because something i've seen your kids have never done anything and this is uh, what happens we have nannies we have house managers and this kid has never even made her bed never even done dishes but now they have become youth and you decide now we don't need a house manager anymore so it's for us to do our duties now you want this boy who has never hold a jambe to weed around the house they have never seen you do that they have never done it themselves but out of nowhere because now they are big you want them to do it form a structure on how we are going to raise this kid if you want them to get involved in future introduce it as early as possible okay let your kids see you do something the other thing is to understand this is not your time parents this is not your time this is their time we are in the 21st century things have a very different there is technology there is a lot of information from social media from everywhere so we cannot 
pretend like we are living in those times. You keep on telling your kids, I used to walk three kilometers uh, from here to there. But you have like three cars in the compound. And you want them to, you know, you keep on saying we used to walk three kilometers. You did that because you didn't have any other option. So what you can do as a parent, if you want your kids to be active, plan activities. Like every Saturday we go walking. That way you show your kids, even if we have means other means of transport, we can also be able to do things that we have decided to do. Please let your kids be able to make decisions. Hmm? Not based with uh, whatever we have, but what is good for us. It's good for us to walk. It's good for us to eat healthy. Even if we can afford junk, let them understand the importance of eating healthy. For example, I taught my, my girl. My girl is a bit younger. But I tell her, you can serve yourself. You don't have to wait to be served. If it's cold, you can put on a, a warm clothing. You don't have to be told, like, do this. Grow knowing what is good and what is right. They come for holidays. We, we, we feel not to be very comfortable and we wish them to go back to school. It's because in school there are rules and regulations. Unlike your house, do you have rules and regulation? As parent, it's good to sit down and, you know, come up with what will be guiding you in that home. In this house, we do this. As your kids grow, they are able to know that this is how we live. They know what is expected of them. Rather than, now that your babies are big, you keep on every morning. You know, you're supposed to be here by, by 6 p.m. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do th No, this should be in their conscience. From the time they understood themselves, maybe from age 7, they should know that this is what is expected from us. This is what we do in our house. We sleep at this time. This is how we receive guests. Let them understand. So parents, can you come up with rules that govern your house? The same way as institutions, schools do. When you hear the bell, you know it's time for this. I don't think teachers keep on shouting. It's time for feeding. It's time for sleeping. No. But in their conscience, they know when this happens, when the bells ring, then we do this. Let us structure these rules and regulations and they are going to govern us in our homes. It will, it will be easy for us. You may think that you are communicating something and in fact you ask them, what did I say? Nothing. They did not hear. In this age, I think listening and uh, just striking that friendship, let them express themselves. I remember a friend of mine telling me how Every time she goes out for shopping, she would also give some cash to, to her son. And she wants to see how the boy is going to manage the cash. That way you can be able to now come up with uh, an idea of you don't have to use all your money. Like you can save some. Do things. Let this thing be practical. Rather than just saying, it's good to save, it's good to do this. I live near school, so most of the time in my videos when you hear the background noise, please bear with me. As I end this video, let me say that it's always good to embrace mistakes in our lives, in the lives of our kids. That is why we are human beings. And I know every parent wants the best for their kids. Sometimes we want them to learn from our mistakes. But when mistakes come, let us embrace it. We fall, we wake up, and we fought ahead. We are not our mistakes. Please, let us not become monitoring spirits in our children's life. We want to be next to them.
Why did you do this? Stop doing this. You're going to fall down. Even when they were growing as small boys, they used to fall and wake up, fall and wake up and became stronger. So as young adults, let them make mistakes. They learn from them and they become more stronger. So I encourage parents, it's not all lost. We can be able to nurture our relationships and we don't want now that our kids have grown that we destroy whatever that we have built a good relationship let it remain so so that even when they grow they can be able to stand firm and uh, come up with strong families and also become role models thank you so much for following through this video and i want to encourage you to go to the comment section write your experience how you do it and together let us learn so that our homes can become small heavens here on earth consider subscribing to this channel in supporting us and also being part of this channel thank you so much and let us see you in our next video